For this tutorial, you're going to need three balls of clay, one bigger one for the body, a smaller one for the tail, and then another one for the ears. The ball for the ears can be the same size as the tail or it's slightly bigger, mine slightly bigger, and I'll show you how you can get two ears out of this one ball of clay. I'm using white clay because I will be painting my charm, but if you want to use colored clay, the biggest ball can be just the base color of your bunny, and so can the ball for the ears. So these two will be the same color. And then the ball for the tail will just be a slightly light, lighter color than the base color of your bunny rabbit. So to start this tutorial, I'm going to take the piece of clay for the body of the bunny and I'm just patting it down with my fingers until I kind of get a shape that's like an egg shape or your computer mouse. So it's just going to be flat on the bottom and a nice rounded shape just like this one. It's a little skinnier at the face and fatter at the butt. Now we're going to take the piece of clay for the ears and I'm just going to roll it into a fat snake and I'm just going to keep rolling it out like this and I'm going to take a blade tool or any kind of knife. I got this one from Michaels and I'm just going to cut it in half and this is going to make sure that your ears are an even length. So I'm going to take the ends of the ears and I'm going to roll them until they form kind of like a tapered teardrop shape. And these are the ends of your ears. So you can just see what I'm doing and I'm kind of just making like teardrop shapes for the ears like this. Now you can see that the ears here are a little flat. So we're going to take our ears that we rolled out and just press on them a little bit so they flatten out. And then after we get them to the shape that we want, we can take them and attach it to our body. And just place them however you like. Now you're going to take any kind of blending tool. This one's by Sculpey. And you're just going to blend the bottom of the ears into the body of the rabbit. And just keep blending in. And you can switch out from using the tool or your fingers to smooth out the clay. And as you can see here, I'm just taking my fingers and I'm just patting on the clay. And just switch back and forth if you need to, whatever you need to do to get it blended in. And soon enough, you'll have something that looks like this. Just nice 360. <laughs> Now we're going to move on to the tail. So take your clay for your tail and simply just roll it into a ball and press it onto the body of the bunny. The next step is to texture it. So you're going to take any kind of pointy tool like this and we're going to use that to get this sort of texture on the bunny rabbit's tail. So just take your rabbit and we're going to kind of just like press little holes into the tail until you get some sort of textured look like this. So now you can just take your eye pin or head pin and slide it right into the bunny. And soon enough this one's ready to be baked. So put them in the oven for at 275 degrees for about 15 minutes. And now it's time to paint the charm. So these are some of the supplies that I usually use when I paint my charms. And I'm going to be taking a blue color and a white color just so that way I don't have two of the same colored bunnies. And I'm going to take these two colors and I'm just going to mix them together so that way I have a nice light blue color for the body and ears of the bunny rabbit. And then simple as that I'm just going to paint the rest of the body except for the tail. Just make sure you get everything. Um, you might have to paint about two coats. I usually do two coats. <laughs> and I'm going to mix a light blue color for the tail. And you can kind of use a stippling motion when painting the tail so that you get into all the cracks of the tail. And then here's a cool method to use when you're drying your charms. Just hang it onto a wire and then place the wire on top of a jar. And then it can just dry like this. Now this clip is the dried one. And you get to see my inserted thumbnail. So I'm sorry about that. <laughs> 
But anyway, now that the charm is done, I can paint on the features. So I mixed a pink color, and I'm going to be painting in the inside of the ears. If you're using colored clay, you could always do these little details with clay, but since I paint my charms, I'm just going to paint on all the little details. So after I've painted on the ears, I'm just going to take a dotting tool like this one. You can get this at any craft store or eBay or Amazon. And I'm just going to dip it into the pink color that I made. And I'm going to dot on a little nose for our bunny. Like so. And then I'm just going to wipe off my dotting tool. And I'm going to dip it into a black paint so I can dot on the eyes. So after giving that some time to dry, I'm going to dip in my dotting tool into a white color and I'm just going to add a little bit of shine onto the eyes. And then after that, just let it dry. I'm going to use the jar again. And then just take whatever glaze you want to use. I use Sculpey Gloss Glaze and paint it onto your charm. And then after you've painted your glaze onto your charm, you can use the same jar method again and then you are finished. So you have something that looks like this. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, let me know how it was. This is my first time filming one, and I'll see you later. Bye!